final cloth of Christmas, the final dishcloth. This is cloth number 12, the star cloth. And for the yarn, I'm using uh, Bernat Handicrafter Holiday. And you can see it has a little sparkle to it. And so that's going to be extra exciting for the star. And I've used this before, I think, uh, with the angel cloth. And of course, I'm using an eye hook. You're going to need a yarn needle. And sometimes, if the stitches are really tight, I like to use a steel tapestry needle as well. So, and don't forget the all-important scissors. So to begin, we're going to do a magic loop. Okay, and for this cloth, I'm going to be using half double crochets. So let's go ahead and chain two, and I want to put nine half double crochets into the ring, into the loop, into this ring. Um, and of course our beginning chain two counts as one, so I want a total of ten, so I'm going to do nine more. Okay, now that we've got our tin, I'm going to go ahead and pull this tail and just kind of pull the center together. And then to the beginning chain two, the very top of it, I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, that completes round one. So let's go right into round two. We're going to chain two. And we're, we're going to work an increase in every stitch. So this will be one, and we're going to work a half double crochet into this very first stitch right here. And mine's a little bit tight, so I'm just going to wiggle the hook through. So if your stitches are tight, just wiggle the hook through. It'll go. And so that's two. So now in the next stitch, I'm going to work two half double crochets again. And in the next stitch, work two half double crochets. And in the next one, and every stitch around. And I do apologize for getting this video out so late. It is the day before Christmas Eve. And we have been super busy, as I'm sure you have as well. And so please forgive the noises also. I'm trying to get some laundry done and trying to get some dishes washed. So my dishwasher's running and my dryer is running. So please just forgive the noises. But I kind of had to wait until everybody was in bed to have time to do my tutorial because I've been really, really swamped with things to do. Okay, so now that we're all the way around, we're going to just, of course, join to the beginning chain two. So find that beginning chain two. It's right here. One, two. Just insert that hook and slip stitch. For the next round, we're going to chain two and work a single, um, sorry, a half double crochet into the very first stitch and we're going to follow that with one half double crochet in the next stitch. In the following stitch we're going to work two half double crochets and we're going to follow that with one in the next. Two in the next then one and we're just going to alternate two and one all the way around. We're nearly done with this round. So I have two half double crochets in this stitch. 
followed by one in the next. And then I'm going to join to the beginning chain two with a slip stitch. And that ends this round. For the next round, we're going to chain two, work a half double crochet into the very first stitch. And we're going to follow that with a half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by another half double crochet in the following stitch. So we have an increase, single, single. We're going to increase in the next one. So two half double crochets in the same stitch here. We're going to follow that with two singles. So just one half double crochet here. And in the next stitch, one half double crochet. So we're going to alternate that around. And then, of course, we're going to join to the beginning chain two with a slip stitch when we're done. So just keep going around with your two half double crochets in one stitch followed by one single one and a second single one. So that's a single a single half double crochet and another single half double crochet. But you know what I mean, just one in this stitch and one in the next, but we're still half double crocheting all the way around and I'll meet you at the join. I'm going to join to the top of my beginning chain two just with a slip stitch. For the next round, I'm just going to take one half double crochet in each stitch around. So it's just going to be a regular row. So I'm going to start off by chaining two, and then uh, not in the first stitch, but in the next. I'm going to work a half double crochet and just one in each stitch around. In the next row, I'm going to just chain one and I am going to single crochet in each stitch around. I'm just going to join to the beginning single crochet with a slip stitch. I don't like my dishcloths really big, so I, at this point I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start uh, working in the points of the star. On this round, I'm going to start working in the points. So what I want to do is divide my, my cloth up. So I have some... Um, some yarn that is a different color. So take your contrasting yarn and you can just kind of work out where these points need to be. So I'm thinking a five pointed star, you could do a six pointed star, it really doesn't matter. Um, all you're trying to do is kind of line up where these need to be. Because, I mean, obviously, we want them to be fairly equal. We don't want them to be like, you know, this top one huge and then these not as big. So, um, yeah, I think this is pretty good. So, what I'm going to do now is about halfway between strands. I'm going to come straight down from the top point where I want the top point to be. I'm going to put my contrasting yarn there and pull it through with my hook. Just tie that on. If you have a different kind of stitch marker you want to use, that's fine. You don't have to use yarn. That's just sometimes what I prefer. Okay, and then um, also put a piece of yarn between each of these where the center of the points will be. We're going to put a yarn stitch marker right here. And I'm not counting, I'm just eyeballing it.
take these little strands off now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start building my points. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and end off. And I'm going to rejoin because I don't want to start right there. So I'm going to clip a generous tail and pull that through. I'm going to go ahead and weave that in. And then I will reattach the, the yarn and we'll begin working points. Okay, so at this point... I'm looking at it and it doesn't look quite right to me and I know that it's not going to turn out quite equally and that's okay um, but what I do want to do is have approximately the right um, space between so what I'm, I'm thinking I need at least eight stitches so what I'm just going to do is pick a center so this is like if this is my center point and I'm not going to count this one. I'm only going to count the ones between. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. But um, I think I want eight. So I'm going to put that in the ninth one from there. So I'm just going to move it. Okay, so now let's do this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't see it all of a sudden. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's in the ninth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I want it actually in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see how many on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. So I think that's, uh, it's going to have to be close enough. It's not going to be exact. Um, and that's okay because this is a dishcloth. But, um, Ideally, uh, they would be evenly spaced, but in this cloth, it's just not going to happen for me, um, which is okay. I'm okay with that. So now it's time to reattach the yarn, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come just on this side of my stitch marker, and I'm going to rejoin my yarn, and I'm going to get a little bit off the ball because this ball of yarn is not very cooperative, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to join this on, and I'm going to start with, whoops, let's see, you know what, I'm just going to do the points in single crochet, so just chain one, and single crochet, until you get to the other stitch marker but not into that space. Alright. I pulled that tail through, didn't I? tail that came through from the back. Alright, and now I'm going to turn my work and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to not work into this very first one, but I'm rather going to work into the second one. Okay, and just slip stitch into the last one. Okay, 
turn for work. this next row, um, we're not going to work into the very first one. Uh, naturally, we're going to work into the second one. And when we get to the last one, we're just going to slip stitch into there. But not too tightly because we don't want it to to pull the curve in. Okay, turn your work. Work into that second stitch. And slip stitch into the last one. Turn. I keep wanting to chain one, but that's not what really what I want to do. Alright, and just that and slip stitch. Alright, and that is the first point. So now we're going to clip the tail, pull that through, and you can go ahead and weave in the end if you want to, or you can just leave it there. We're going to begin this point the same way. We're going to just add on our yarn. Work one single crochet into each stitch between the markers. Okay, turn your work. Now remember not to uh, stitch into this first one, but into the second. Always work into the second when you turn your row, when you turn your work. And into the last one, always slip stitch. Work into the second stitch, a single crochet. And don't forget in the last one, we're just going to work a slip stitch. Turn your work. Work into the second stitch. Okay, and in the last one, a slip stitch. Turn your work, work into the second stitch, and slip stitch in the last one. Okay, clip the tail, pull that through, weave in the tails if you want to, or you can save them to the end. And we're going to do this for all five points. You can do as many points as you want to on your star. I just, when typically when I think of a star, I think of a five-pointed star. But some people may think of a six-pointed star or other number. So remember, just one single crochet into each stitch between the stitch markers. And I figure that stars are like people. Every star is different. Just like every person is different. So I'm not going to be real concerned that all my points aren't exactly the same or there's not, you know, not the same exact distance between my stitch markers. I'm just not going to worry about that. Uh, work into the second stitch, a single crochet in each stitch, and in the last one, a slip stitch. Here it is, slip stitch. Okay, turn your work, work into the second stitch, a slip, a single crochet, single crochet in each stitch. When you get to the last one, a slip stitch. 
until you work. I think I slip stitched too soon though. Let me go back. I think I didn't get my the last stitch I was supposed to get. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. And then slip stitch. Let me get some more yarn off real quick. Okay. Alright, single crochet into the second stitch again. And when you get to the last one, you slip stitch. Turn. Work into the second. And slip stitch. Clip tail. Pull it through. Next point. Join on your yarn, chain one, work a single crochet into each stitch between the markers, Turn your work, work into the second stitch, and in the last one, slip stitch. Turn your work, work into the second stitch, a single crochet and each stitch across, except for the last one, which should be a slip stitch. Turn your work. Again in the second stitch we'll work a single crochet, and in every stitch across till we reach the last one, and then we slip stitch. Turn your work. Again, work into the second stitch, slip stitch in the last one. Alright, we're ready to clip that tail, pull it through. Alright, this is our final point, so let's go ahead and join on the yarn. And we're going to do just like we did in the others, just join on that yarn, chain one, single crochet in each stitch between the markers okay turn your work work into the second stitch you made alright all the way across and then in the very last one, slip stitch. Turn your work, work into the second stitch, a single crochet, and in each stitch across except for the last one. Alright, and in the last one, you're going to slip stitch again. Turn your work, work a single crochet in the second one, and in the next, and the next. and slip stitch in the last one. Okay, turn your work, single crochet into the second stitch, and slip stitch in the last one. Turn your work, single crochet, and slip stitch. Clip the tail, pull it through. Okay, so at this point we're just doing some cleaning up. What we're going to do, now that we've completed the points, we're just going to do some cleanup work. 
So what I'm going to do is take a minute, I'm going to remove all these little stitch markers that I put in, and I'm going to weave in the ends, and then I will meet you back here. One final touch I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm just going to basically add a single crochet border. I just think it'll make the cloth look a little bit more finished. I'm not going to join at the, the point though. I'm going to join right here, kind of between the points. And that'll be a couple more ends for me to weave in, but that's okay. I just feel like the cloth will look a lot more finished if I add this single crochet border. So I'm going to chain one naturally and I'm going to work a single crochet into that stitch and the next one and just kind of follow follow that edge around just a single crochet and I'm working the tail in as I go and that'll be one less tail to weave in at the end So if any of these places are tight, just kind of wiggle your hook in there, it'll go. And when, when we get to the very top, I'm not just going to put one in there, I'm going to actually um, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into that same stitch again. And then I'm going to work down. I feel like that will give me a better, a better tip to my star. But sometimes when you slip stitch you'll get this weird loop so that's kind of what was in my mind was that I wanted to get that loop where I didn't see it anymore because it was kind of bothering me so this way uh, it won't show. So just continue working around like that until you join back up uh, with where you began. Just a quick reminder, when you get to each point, uh, in the very top of that point, don't just take one single crochet and then continue on down the side because uh, you're not going to be happy with the way it looks. It's going to, it uh, could pucker, it's going to be a little more rounded. So instead, take a single crochet chain one and single crochet into that same stitch again and that will give you a, a really nice corner there and then continue down the other end, other side of the point. I've made it all the way around so I'm just going to join to that beginning single crochet that I made just with a slip stitch. I'm going to go ahead and clip a tail. I'm going to pull that through and then I'm going to weave in my end but first of all I want to show you how much nicer this looks now. There's no loops hanging out, it's just just a happy star. And like I said, I think that probably every star is different, just like people. So I don't think that it's, I mean, you know, to me it's not a big deal that all the points aren't exactly the same. I'm pretty pleased with it, so thank you for joining me for this project. I really, really appreciate your time, especially right From here my Christmas. family to yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a healthy, happy New Year. And God willing, I'll see you in 2016. Bye.